veganism equals malnutrition and being vegan for ethical reasons is a bunch of BS. I didn't know these things before but they've now been brought to my attention. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, every now and then I have people who are experts leave comments down on my videos about veganism and how I'm wrong, how veganism is bad, how veganism equals malnutrition. So I thought I'd go through some of these comments and go through their expert opinions. Yaron Peretz says, Vegetarianism is simply an attempt to evade the fact that life feeds on life, that universe is a vast web of creation and destruction. A vegetarian is just a person who spares his own feelings by killing creatures that can't scream. Vegetarianism is an attempt to remove man from nature rather than to embrace nature and plunge into it. Or to sum it up, God syndrome. Now, aside from the fact that vegetarianism has nothing to do with what I'm preaching, which is veganism, they're two completely different things. Let's just assume he's talking about vegans. Nothing about the animal industry, nothing about the factory farms is natural. None of these animals are natural. We're not in a survival situation. If you were in a survival situation, it would make sense to do anything, to eat anything in order to survive. That's a logical thing to do. But me, in a privileged country like Australia, I have the choice in what I want to eat and I have the luxury of choosing between cruelty and non-cruelty, just like everyone else in this country does. And it just doesn't make sense to me when people comment these things about how we have to survive, survival situation, nature. There's nothing natural about factory farming. None of these animals are natural. If you took these animals and released them into the wild, they wouldn't survive because we've spent so many years trying to domesticate these animals, artificially breed them, genetically modify them so they serve our purpose, which is meat, dairy. Cows aren't supposed to live like how we raise them on dairy farms. We rape these cows and we take its milk from it over and over again. This isn't natural. None of this is natural. Nothing about anything to do with the dairy industry or the meat industry is natural. He also obviously brings up the fact that vegetarians, let's assume he's talking about vegans once again, spares his own feelings by killing creatures that can't scream. And if he's talking about plants, creatures that can't scream, even if you take into effect that plants feel pain, which they don't, they don't feel pain like animals do, but let's just assume they do feel pain, it still doesn't make sense to eat animals because there are way more plants that are killed in a process to make meat than there are killed that are killed to make vegetables, fruits and vegetables. 70% of all agricultural land, which are plants, mostly soybeans, are grown to feed livestock, which are animals that are going to be meat. So even if you're a plant activist, it makes sense for you to be vegan because there are way more plants that are killed in the process of making meat than there are in the process of making vegan food. So if you care about plants' lives, you want to cause the least amount of harm because we can't get rid of all harm. You want to cause the least amount of harm that you can. So it still makes sense to be vegan. Andrew Burnett says veganism equals malnutrition. Now, I didn't know this before, but apparently it does equal malnutrition. I guess that's that's a fact now. It's it's a cold hard fact. I can't Andrew, I can't argue with Andrew. He's an expert. So veganism does result in malnutrition, and I am malnourished. Apparently, eating meat is not abusing animals just because you think it is. Now, eating meat isn't abusing animals. But what you're doing when you eat meat, when you buy meat or dairy, is that you're supporting 
in industry that abuses animals. If you watch anything, if you watch any footage from a factory farm, from a dairy farm, you'll see how horrible these conditions are. And if you don't think that's animal abuse, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're directly supporting an industry that abuses these animals. And the more you support this industry, the more animals get abused. It's a supply and demand. And in a capitalist society, we have the choice to choose where we want our money to go. And if you choose your money to go to the dairy and meat industry, that's just what happens. You're supporting cruelty. You're abusing animals because you're supporting that industry. Reducing human population will reduce factory farming. Other animals eat animals, savagery, a Komodo dragon will tear you apart from the inside. That's worse than any factory farming. Veganism for health is much better, but ethics are a bunch of BS. Just because animals kill other animals in nature, it doesn't justify us to do the same. Because we're not in a survival situation. These animals, they need to kill other animals to survive. It's part of their biology. They need it. Us humans we can survive perfectly fine off of plant-based products we don't need meat or dairy to survive and also we're not in a survival situation we are a civilized society we have the luxury of choosing what we want to eat and it just doesn't make sense to use what happens in nature to justify us doing the same thing there are a lot of things that happen in nature that we can't justify like animals raping other animals animals killing their own offspring. We can't justify that just because it happens in nature. So that argument just falls flat. It just doesn't make any sense. Of course, a Komodo dragon is going to tear you apart. How does that have anything to do with you choosing not to eat meat or dairy? And like I said, there is nothing natural about the meat that we eat. They are pumped with antibiotics. They're pumped with steroids. That's not natural. Every argument against veganism has an answer. And that's our job is to educate as many people as we can. Whenever someone's trying to talk about veganism with me and trying to argue against veganism, it's all about recognizing what kind of argument they're going to use because every vegan argument I've heard so many times before, and it's always one of these arguments. I've never heard a fresh new argument against veganism because it just doesn't exist. The science, the facts, everything points towards a vegan diet being best for the animals, for the environment and for us, for in terms of health. But of course, it's not about the health, it's about the animals. It's always about the animals and it's always going to be about the animals. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next one.